When I'm creating a document on a tight deadline, I can finish the job faster using a new feature called Building Blocks in Word 2007. Building blocks are pre-designed parts of documents that come with Word and are stored in galleries like the header gallery here, the cover page gallery here, the quick parts gallery for boilerplate text, the table of contents gallery, and other galleries that I can pull from to finish my document fast. I'll start by adding page numbers to my document. The page number gallery has some great designs in different formats. I want an X of Y numbering format at the bottom of my pages, so I'll choose Bold Numbers 3. The page numbers are inserted automatically at the bottom of every page in my document. How easy was that? Now I'd like a simple header at the top of each page of my document. For that, I'll go to the header gallery. The annual header contains a placeholder for the document title and the year. Just what I need. However, I won't type that information right now. You'll see why after I add a cover page to the document. In the meantime, I can see the header placeholders on every page. To get out of the header area, I just double-click inside the content of my document. Notice how the headers and footers are now grayed out. Now I'm ready to add a cover page to my document. So I'll go to the Cover Page Gallery. Here I can see all the designs that are available. They really add a professional touch to any document. I think I'll try Pinstripes. The cover page is inserted directly into my document right at the beginning, where you'd expect a cover page to be. I'll fill in the placeholders for the title, subtitle, year, and company name. Word already knew to add my name to the document because some of the placeholders use document properties automatically. You can also replace the content in a placeholder with your own text. Remember earlier when I added the header to the document, but I didn't fill in the title and year? When I filled in the document title and date placeholders on my cover page, Word filled in the header information too. More time saved. When you try this procedure on your own, you may see the title, year, or other information already filled in, even without creating a cover page. That's because the building block might be pulling information you filled in elsewhere. Looks great, but I've decided to include a description of my business on the cover page, so I'll find another design. The annual design has a placeholder for abstract content that will work for me, and it looks nice with my header design. Word replaced the previous cover page with a new one, but it kept all of the information I filled in before and added a placeholder to include my business description. My document looks pretty good, but I'm not quite satisfied with the disclaimer text at the end. I want to reformat it. I always want the text centered with bold red letters and in a smaller font size. So I'll select the text and use the handy mini toolbar to make all of these changes. That's better, but I don't want to make this change each time I use the disclaimer. So I'll go to the Quick Parts Gallery and save this piece of reformatted boilerplate text as a building block that I can use whenever I want. I'll define my new building block in the Create New Building Block dialog box. First, I'll give it a clear title, Disclaimer. I want the disclaimer to be available as boilerplate text, which I'll show you how to insert shortly. I'll save the selection to the Quick Parts Gallery. I'll create the new category for all building blocks with approved legal language for my company, and I could include a description about how the disclaimer should be used in documents. But for now, I'll leave this blank. I'll save in buildingblocks.dotx, which is the file format for building blocks. Finally, I want the disclaimer to appear on its own any place I insert it, so I'll choose the option to insert content in its own paragraph. Whenever I add this piece of text, it will start on its own line in the document. Now I can use my new disclaimer building block in another section of the document I'm working on. First, I go to the point in the document where I want to insert the disclaimer text. I could just click the building block here to insert the new disclaimer in the document, but I want to show you where you can find all of the building blocks in Word and insert the building block too. Remember, I saved the text with a title Disclaimer, and that's right here. I'll click to preview it on the right, and then click the Insert button. If I decide that I don't want to reuse the disclaimer text after all, I can go back to the Building Blocks Organizer, 
select the disclaimer building block I created, and remove the building block from Word completely by clicking Delete. I'm all finished. My document is ready to send to my boss, and it took me a fraction of the time it used to. All that's left is for me to save my document and click Yes to save all of the changes I made to building blocks. I'm ready to start my next project.